Nissan says regulations have killed the GTR. The company will surely want to keep the R35 selling for another 17 years. As with all things in life, good things must come to an end. The venerable GTR has been in production since December 2007, but time is running out for the R35. The car has been retired from most markets, and the last one will ride off into the sunset sometime next year. Nissan killed Godzilla not because they wanted to, but because they had to. In an interview with Top Gear magazine, the carmaker's global product boss, Pierre Lou, explained why the GTR only lives for a limited time. This car has been on sale for 17 years and we would like to keep it around for even longer, but the regulators are making it difficult for us. Indeed, the supercar was retired from Europe in July 2021 when new noise regulations were introduced. At the time, the supercar had been withdrawn from the Australian market for failing to meet stricter crash test regulations. When a generation of car ends, it usually means its successor is just around the corner. Unfortunately, that's not the case with the R35. When production ends in 2025, Nissan will have no other car to fill the void at its Tochiji, Japan, plant. Pierre is confident there will be a gap, pointing to the GTR's history and how production breaks have happened before. Last year's wild hyperforce concept hinted at the prospect of an all-electric R36 with a solid-state battery. But let's remember how long it took Nissan to launch the previous generation. The original concept was unveiled in 2001, followed by the near-production GTR Proto in 2005, and two years later, until series production began. In early 2024, Nissan's program design director, Giovanni Aroba, stated that the next GTR would be launched in 2030. He called the Hyperforce a bold but realistic dream to achieve by the end of this decade. When the Hyperformance Coupe eventually returns, it will sit alongside the Z and ideally a new Sylvia. Earlier this month, Nissan's Vice President of Global Product Strategy, Ivan Espinoza, announced that preliminary work had begun on a third sports car. However, the reborn Sylvia has yet to be approved for production. Tighter laws have killed off several performance vehicles this year in Europe. We lost the Toyota GR86, Subaru BRZ, Porsche Boxster, and Cayman due to stricter cybersecurity laws. Plus, Mazda discontinued the MX-5 Miata's 2.0-liter engine, leaving Roadster enthusiasts with the smaller 1.5-liter. As a side note, the latest Ford Mustang sees a 50-to-horsepower power drop in Europe compared to its American cousin. Additionally, the BMW M135, X1 M35i and X2 M35i are less powerful in the European Union compared to other markets due to stricter emissions regulations. Regulations are only going to get tighter, so in many cases, it's now or never to buy that fun car before the laws take a back seat or kill it altogether.